Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQB.com webcast. Let's start with Kristen and the forecast. Good afternoon. Another sunny spring-like day. Conditions will stay nice and dry. Winds today, not too bad, but those will be picking up tomorrow. Uh, mainly in the east, that fire danger is going to be increasing. And then winds, of course, will be picking up statewide for the latter half of the weekend. Precip chances not looking good for the next week. We're going to stay very dry with temperatures above average. Expect those highs in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. Several Columbus, New Mexico village leaders, including the mayor, are arrested in an early morning federal raid. The Luna County Sheriff's Office confirms that Columbus Mayor Eddie Espinosa, Police Chief Angelo Vega, and Village Trustee Jose Gutierrez, along with his wife, are among those arrested on drug and weapons charges. The early morning raids were conducted in Columbus by federal agents with the DEA and alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. With last word, village officials are meeting with Luna County Sheriff, Sheriff Raymond Cabos to discuss details of what happened. KVIA TV in El Paso reports that in mid January, Columbus trustees reinstated Vega as the chief of police after the mayor placed him on administrative leave in late November for budgetary concerns. Vega was put back in as police chief by trustees in January while the mayor was in Albuquerque. That was according to an Associated Press article in January. Twelve members of the Barrio Azteca gang have been arrested in raids in southern New Mexico and El Paso. Thirty-five people total were indicted by a grand jury Wednesday facing charges of racketeering, kidnapping, extortion and murder. Among those named were associates thought to have played a role in the murder of U.S. consulate employee Leslie Enriquez and her husband last year. Seven suspects are still on the run. No matter where they live or where they hide out. Even it's beyond our borders, in Mexico or in other countries. Those who have threatened and devastated American lives will be held accountable for their actions. Some of the defendants are also accused of murdering five other people. The FBI considers Barrio Azteca one of the most violent gangs. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.